We begin by illustrating the two intervals on a number line, as shown here. Next, we create a new interval that represents the intersection of these two intervals. To do so, we identify the real numbers that the two intervals have in common, that is, the real numbers that are present in both intervals. We can see that the infinitely many real numbers between 1 and 4 are present in both intervals, and so we create a new interval with these numbers included, as shown here. Now, the number 1 is present in the first interval, but not in the second, and the number 4 is present in the second interval, but not in the first. Given that these numbers are not present in both intervals, we exclude these numbers from the new interval. Therefore, the intersection interval is an interval of real numbers between 1 and 4, with 1 and 4 excluded. In interval notation, this interval can be represented as follows. Hence, the answer to this question is option A.